Hi, George here, and I have a new project where I want to copy out some information from several different photographs, combine those into a new picture, kind of a montage. What I want to do is to copy out the same amount of each picture and then copy and paste that into my new collage picture. So I'll see how this is done, but first, take a look at my new training for Photoshop Elements. I'll put a link for that right down there in the description. All right, the first thing we need to do here is to decide what I want to copy out, and I'll be using a circle shape for this. So open this up just a little bit. Now, if you don't have floating windows like this, go up to Edit, come down to Preferences and General, and right here where it says Allow Floating Documents in Export Mode, make sure that that is checked. You can then do Floating Documents, makes this much easier. Now, I want to have a circle in here that's pretty much the full height. So let's grab from the left-hand side here, pull a guideline in, let it snap to the center point. It's right there. I'll pull it from the top, same thing. That's right here. Let's now go over here to Shapes, and let me get this up out of the way so I can see our options panel down below. I'll click onto this shape. This is the ellipse tool. I want to set this for a circle, and I want to pull from center right here. Okay, now that that's set, I have my color as black. That's fine. I'll come right in here, right onto the center point. Just kind of I'll line that up, and then I'll pull out from the center, and I'll go clear out just inside of the outside edge, and there is my circle as a separate shape up here. And that's the main key. Let's now go over here to the Move tool. I'll hold the Control key down, click on the icon for that layer, and that makes that into a selection. I can now hide that, come down to the background layer, and now I can copy this. I'll just use Control C to copy that, and then I'll bring up my new file, which is right here, and I'll do Control V to paste that in. Now I'll put all four of these pictures in here first. Actually, I have five pictures, I'll put those in first before we do any resizing in here. Control D to deselect that. And I want to get this layer up here, the shape layer, into my other photos. Easy to do, let's just get this out of the way. I'll take this layer here, unhide that, drag it over here. I can now get rid of this. Let's put in some guidelines to find our center again. Right there, and right here. I can now grab this control handle and let's just resize this down so it's exactly the right size. And I'll pull it up right there, right to the edge, and reposition it. There we go, that's now positioned properly. Hit the green check mark, same thing. Control, hit that icon that makes that into a selection. Hide that down to the background layer. Control C to copy, and let's go back here to this image. Control V to paste, there's my next one. Now the sizes are off a little bit, we'll fix that once we begin to reposition these things. Okay, I'm done with this one. Let's just close that down. And here's this image again. Here's my next image right here. Same thing, I'll grab this shape layer, drop it over here, get this out of the way. And again, I want to have this maximized top to bottom in my frame. So let's pull in our guidelines, find our center points. There's the first one. Here is the second one right there. Bring in the circle, grab that control handle, it's right up here. I'll stretch that out to the top. There it is. Position that. Now I want to get a better positioning here on her face because she's not in the center. So to do that, let's just bring our opacity down. There we go. And now I can see exactly where I'm positioning this. And I think right here to the right hand side, that's a good spot for that. I can leave the opacity down, doesn't matter. Hold the control key down, click on that icon. That makes it into a selection. Hide that layer back to the background layer. Same thing. Control C to copy. Back over here, Control V to paste. That one comes in. We've got that one. Get this out of the way. Here's our image here. Bring up our next image. That's this one. Same trick. Drag this over here. Hide that one. Again, we're off a bit here on my image. I want to have it filled top to bottom. Once again, let's find that center. Make sure on the center here. It's right there. And find our center here. There it is. Grab the shape. Bring it down to the bottom. Stretch it out to fit the height and then position that. There it is. Green check mark. Control click. Makes our selection. Hide that down to the background layer. Control C to copy. Back over here. Control V to paste. There's our next picture. Take it this out of the way. And then our last picture right over here. Same trick. Let's drag that shape in. And again, it's off size. So let's find our center point right here. And find our center point over here, right there. Now you can do this trick with any shape. I'm just using a circle just because it's easy, but any shape will work on this. 
There we go. And there's our center point. I think we're okay on this one. I'm just going to take a fast peek at that. Yeah, that's fine. Green check mark. Control click for your selection. Hide that background layer. Control C to copy. Get this out of the way. Back over here. And Control V to paste. There we go. I have all of my pictures now on this new layer. And they're all using the same amount of the image, top to bottom, in a circle shape. Okay, now let's go ahead and get these things properly placed. I'm just going to hide these temporarily. And I'll dock this page. Let's just change our view here to fit on screen, a bit larger view. And I want to find the center in here, so I'll drag down a guideline from the top. And there's a center point, guideline from the side. There's our center point. And now I can find my circle size in here. Let's bring in one of these images. Let's put this one bottom right hand corner. Over corner here, let's just bring it down until it exactly fits into this area, which is right there. It's the first one. Bring our second one in. I'll put her over here. Same thing as just bring down the size and we'll put her into the area and stretch her out until she exactly fits. That's right there. Bring our next image in here. We'll put her right up here. And once again, just stretch the size. And I'll get the center matching first and do the upper left hand corner and drag it out to fit right there. And then one more, we have this girl right here. Same thing, let's just match that center position. There we go, that snaps to those guidelines. In this case, the upper guideline is off the screen. So I'm gonna do the top. I'll match the outside, which is right here. And then I'll pull the inside in until we snap to those guidelines. There we go. Now the last one I want to have fit these sizes and I want it on top. So let's drag this up like this. Brings her in front. Now to make it fit, I'm just going to move her down to the bottom right hand corner and we'll fit her into that bottom box, which is right here. So she's now a matching size and then I'll just move her up here to the center and she should snap right to that center point and there we go. Okay, so far so good. At this point, you can go fancier if you want to. I think just a little outline around these things and a color in the background will be kind of fun. Let's now go up here to layer, come down to layer style and style settings. And here, come down to stroke and change the color here to white. Click on that black square. Look in the middle here and go to the upper left-hand corner. That's pure white, choose okay. Change the position here to inside. And let's bring that size up a little bit and see what looks good. That's a bit too large. Looks like about 20 is okay. I'll just type in 20 right here. Choose okay. When I need to match this on these other four, and that's easy to do, up here, top layer, right click on the name, copy layer style, come down one layer here, right click on the name again, paste layer style, and just continue on down, right click on the name, paste layer style, and get our last two down here, right click, paste layer style. There we go. That's all set. Let's now change our background, come down to the graphics. I have mine set at backgrounds up here. It's by type and background. You can then choose a background. It will then change that background for you. I don't care for that one. Let's try something else. Maybe this bright orange right down here. That's better. I like that one. Nice texture showing in them, but it's not distracting. Go back to our layers. And if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe. Make sure you check out my training course for Photoshop Elements. The link for that is right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.